Everybody's heard of cases every year where somebody passes away uh, in a vehicle, left in a vehicle. The other day I was explaining that to my daughter who's 13, and she's like, how can somebody leave a kid in a car? And I, I, I've done it. I mean, I've, I, mean I, didn't, I didn't leave her in the summertime in the heat, but I've gotten out of the car and forgotten, because I was on the phone, right, that she was sleeping in the back seat, right? Because especially if you're outside of your routine, like if, for instance, um, your, uh, your, your daily routine during school time is that you drop your child off at school at a certain time, you pick the child up at a certain time. Well, in the summer, schedules are all the way off, right? And so you may drive to work and um, assume, right, in your head, because you're on the phone or you're doing something else, that your kid was already, your child was already dropped off. Well, you don't, you get into work, they fell asleep in the back, and, you, and it happens innocently enough. Thankfully, most people remember as soon as they get out of the car, like I, I, I did. Yeah, and they joke about it. Uh, yeah, and they say, my God, I almost yeah. forgot you. But every once in a while, there'll, there'll be somebody that either innocently or something less than innocent um, leaves a child or somebody dependent in a vehicle. And in the summertime, in the heat, I mean, your body temperature, Dr. Malone, you can speak to this better than I can, your body temperature can go up dramatically in a closed vehicle in the summer in Florida. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and then what happens? Uh, if once you get up to like 104 to 107 degrees, th the cells like start to degrade, so organs stop working. Wow. Important organs, and so the, the first two are your brain and your heart. And once those start not doing their intended, whatever, whatever their intention is, everything else follows suit. So then the lungs and then the blood vessels and the nerves, everything shuts down. And again, it happens in 10 minutes. And it can be 80 degrees outside, and you're like, that's not that hot. There's no way it's going to get up that hot. It has, it, it, the studies show that it has very little to do with... Ambient? The, the, yeah, the ambient. It's the sunlight. The direct sunlight can heat up a car with windows inside like a magnifying glass. Like, it amplifies it even more. So it can be 80 degrees outside and get up to 200 degrees in the car. And they say a child's body temperature rises three to five times faster than an adult. So an adult maybe could sit in the car for longer than a child uh, under these conditions, but a child, is, it's reduced dramatically. Yeah, and so the, the, it's very complex, but the children don't have their thermal, thermal regulation system in set in motion yet. So the easiest way I can explain it is if you go watch your kid run around on a playground or whatever, their face gets a beat red, okay? I go do that, my face doesn't get beat red. Right. I mean, eventually, yeah, but theirs does it with very little effort. That's how their body trying to cool just from that minimal effort. So their body's thermal regulation, their surface area, their sweat, the way that their organs distribute the blood flow is not the same as that of an adult. And it's, it's highly inefficient to the point where they do heat up quicker. Right. And from a legal standpoint, where this comes into play is that kids and adults sometimes that are dependent are placed in, in the care of others, right? And when they're, when they're supervised by other people, maybe non-relatives that are employed to supervise them, you don't know who you're getting, right? You don't know who's going to be taking care of your child, who's going to be driving your dependent uh, relative around. And that's where the legal stuff comes in because obviously we have cases where people have been left in the custody of, uh, of a business or an agency that is in charge of them. And for whatever reason, uh, they're left behind in a vehicle. And um, obviously it's a little different situation than a parent and a child because parents obviously are wired to think about their kids 24 seven. But if you have somebody that's making maybe minimum wage or a little bit more, and they're being tasked with being in charge of 10 mm -hmm. children or five and children. It's a different number every day, which makes it even Correct, more so correct. Eight today, 10 tomorrow. Correct. That's a, that is a very complex job, yeah. and it requires a lot of attention to detail. Mm -hmm. And it, you can easily be distracted by one of the other seven or eight kids that you're in charge of, or one of the seven to eight people you're in charge of, and forget one that was maybe the quiet one in the back seat. Yep. So if you have questions about cases involving heat stroke um, or somebody has suffered a serious injury or death, you can find us on the web at zarzerlaw.com or you can call us at 855-HIRE-JOE. Thank you.